History is golden and it is only a present that is animated by history that can create a prominent future. Ghana has seen many gems. And now we introduce Ochami Bafo Seakuto, the linguist, the politician, the farmer, philanthropist, educationist, and business mogul. We bring back Bafo because if today we have a constitution that guarantees human rights, we remember Bafo Seakuto. If it's about harnessing cocoa and agric resources for Ghana's development, we remember Bafo Akuto. If we talk about development and freedom, we remember Bafo. Ochami Akuto stands for democracy, freedom to develop, anti-imperialism, and a Ghana beyond aid. Bafo Akuto became fully and publicly involved in politics in the period just before the first major by-election in Ghana. It was an election held at Ichiman Wabieja. The CPP MP had died in a car crash and a by-election was occasioned. According to Dennis Austin's politics in Ghana, the entire leadership of the CPP descended on the tiny Ashanti village for the election. It included Kojobochu. Krobeduse and Bedema. The opposition, led by Bafo, managed to match the government in the campaign, and eventually the opposition candidate BF Kusi was elected by a landslide. The opposition gained a new seat in parliament, and this set the tone for the growth in the agitations against dictatorship, concerns about the role of cocoa farmers, and the push for federalism. All these matters culminated in the formation of the National Liberation Movement, formed by Bafu Akutu, with the tacit support of the Asantehene, Premper II. Bafu Akutu, dear, what what conquered them? Na what did Santemanso achieve? What must Santemanso any more benyam? Any one more Ghana and so so abenyam? If you say any Bafu Akutu, can be any horse MPP. One of our MPP by MPP now now war free MPP ne ma me ne hwan MPP ne papa ho ene hwan MPP ne papa ne ma me ene ene lem that's how she mo na we mu nyina no e free national liberation movement mo national liberation movement no e sane hene party ene wodne chiamme e de to ano the chiamme ba fo akoto so wo konko dene so when you are celebrating uh, Bafu Akoto, you are looking for an icon of fearless courage in politics, where now every young lawyer can go and file a writ of habeas corpus. And Bafu Akoto demonstrated that selfless, remember, he wasn't doing all this for himself or for his family. He sacrificed his family, he himself, in order to push people like Buzia forward, Dombo, S.G. Anto, uh, Jato Kalo, and the other uh, people he brought together uh, to form uh, the NLM, later on UP, and so on, Aram Ponsa, uh, and later on people like Hwamna Bartels uh, followed in his footsteps of courage, including recently the late Dr. Kwame Amaku uh, to form ICQA. They followed in that selfless sacrifice of their personal freedoms, their personal wealth, Apia Menka sacrificing his personal wealth in order to advance the nation, not themselves, not their families. Thus, Bafo and his party, the NLM, won some seats to gain presence in the 1956 parliament. The list included stalwarts like B.F. Kusi, K.A. Buzia, Crunchy Taylor, Victor Owusu, and Joe Apia. When, after Bafo's death, 
we saw that, oh, I see. If the sin has become killing, then we shall also wake up and kill. Then we started vigorously with anybody. We were fighting here and there. And so we could do similar as they did. We were trying to do it too. And we also swore that if anybody dares to commit a crime on the name of our member, we shall also revenge. And then it became a hectic game. Hectic game, instead of uh, this thing, normal struggle of, for this thing, uh, uh, campaigning for each party, after it became a threatening affair. And so that was the end of the game. In 1959, Bafo Sir Akoto was also arrested with some others. In 1961, J.B. Dankwa with 49 and others were also arrested. And then all over the country, in fact, the leaders of the position were also arrested one by one. But the fact remains that to our utter surprise and dismay, utter surprise, we found the, the, the CPP gurus and the organizers also, also being brought in. CPP gurus and organizers, and organizers like uh, the one who brought Kwame Nkrumah, Akwaji. Hey Akwaji, what have you come here to do? And then the secretary, the general secretary of the CPP, all of them. And then the entire, entire staff of the CPP at the headquarters were all arrested, the, 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 uh, the drivers, the van drivers, the organize, organizers, and we had them. Top men like uh, Katila Kote, Amati Ibrahim, and so on and so forth. Lots of them being brought in, into prison. The incarceration of Bafua Koto under the PDA led J.B. Dankwa to file a habeas corpus application in the High Court, demanding the court to order the physical presence of Bafo and the seven others to determine if their arrest was warranted. The application was expectedly resisted by the learned Attorney General, the Honorable Jeffrey Bing. Indeed, Ochiame, senior linguist, Bafo Ose Akuto has left a very big tradition by his suffering in prison, by his suffering, and by the industry of one lawyer, J.B. Dangwa, who would not sit by when something wrong was happening. The legacy is simple and clear. And it is well summarized in the 1969 Constitution, which I described in my lectures as a Charter of Liberty, which was repeated in the 1979 Constitution and also repeated in the 1992 Constitution. Because by his suffering and by the industry of J.B. Dankwa and the matter that was tested, we gave the clear decision that fundamental human rights had not been expressly provided for. It was a lesson. So in 1969, others ensured that fundamental human rights were expressly provided for. And that's what we are enjoying today.